Hello everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Rohit and this is the day 20 of the service portal training. In this day, we'll talk about that some of the services uh, pages. So if you see here, today we'll basically talk about that all the serv I mean few other services. We already talked about the some of the services like uh, service portal services called SP Util. We talk about that uh, dollar scope. One is the location, another is the timeout, another is the UIB model, and then watch. So these four uh, services we'll talk about one by one so for that uh, to support that i have created one page so if you can see um, this is page name called test service and in this page uh, i have created one button nothing else so once you click the button it is just showing you some uh, message called ok and here i created one variable that have that variable have the four value i'll open the widget and i'll show you that so i'll go to the widget editor and under this widget editor, you can see that there is nothing. I declared a variable called data.record. And under this record, we have these options. So all these are the variables. So this is the array and array have the four value. And this value, I'm just printing nothing else. I'll put a br here so that it can go to the next line. So now uh, we are going to talk about this, our four, uh, you know, uh, called four things so first thing first we'll talk about the timeout then we'll talk about the location and we will go further call UIB model and watch so let's see that what is the timeout in the javascript we have also timeout function and then using the timeout function we can delay some of the actions what does it mean by the delay of the action so right now you can see whenever i am clicking that click here it is immediately popping up or prompting up instead of immediately we can define that after how many seconds we should uh, perform the action so basically we can add the delay now the next question will be come up that why we need why we need the delay basically delay is needed let's say that you are performing certain action to the server side and after the server side completed you might need to wait certain time and then you need to redirect to the page or there will be many scenario or many case will be arise in your future that you need some certain time out so you need to wait to load the complete page you need to wait for 30 seconds or 10 10 seconds 5 seconds and after that you need to perform certain action in this case we can use the timeout now the timeout function is available for javascript that function you can use that otherwise you can directly use that angular js timeout function so we will talk about the angular js timeout function remember that we already uh, in our previous session we discussed about that sp uh, util we discuss we uh, we discuss about that other um, services but if the service is started with the dollar sign it means that this is the out of box and this uh, service is available for angular js and the service now but anything the any service that is start with sp is only available for service portal or the service now it is not available for angular js so this that is the custom angular uh, provider which is injected for the service now now let's talk about the timeout so how we can use the timeout i have given all the example if you need you can go through i'll just write and uh, show you that so in our past sessions uh, we, uh, i just created this ng click function and when i click that it is going to be called this function now i'm going to put some delay that after certain time this alert message should be um, there now you can see that I already injected the scope um, services. Now how we have to be add the services. So we have to put the dollar and then we need to put the timeout uh, this service name. Okay. Once we put the time this service name we can use in our code. So let's say I'm going to use that. To use the timeout uh, uh, you know uh, services you need to put the timeout and then you need to define the bracket. Inside the bracket there will be two parameters. In the left side one parameter and right side one parameter right the first parameter we need to define the function and then we need to um, call any function we can call any function or we can do the itself here okay so i am going to uh, do that uh, the, uh, the thing under this here so it means that i am going to perform the actions in between the first parameter otherwise you can create a function and then call the function name here so here i am going to uh, you know uh, do a um, do or I'm going to show a alert and after how much time that we have to define here so I'm going to put that uh, two second or maybe um, this is the 2000 millisecond okay so here it's a millisecond so after 2000 mill, I mean 2000 millisecond this pop-up should be came out now instead of immediately pop-up it will be once you click that click here it will wait for certain time so let's say it will wait for certain time and after two seconds it will be pop-up will be came out 
you can increase the delay here after two, uh, instead of two seconds you can put the five second and it will be um the alert will be came up after five second let's try one more time we'll click here and then it will wait for five seconds and after five seconds it will be uh show this use case I, it might not be fit right now in your use case but in there will be many places you need to be use the timeout okay in your future now as i said this is the inbuilt function you can uh, call that otherwise what you can do you can directly uh, create a function let's say that i'm going to create the function called um, alert i mean like this one um, i'm not putting the full uh, name because um, something like alert one okay and here i'm going to put the alert and then here i'm going to put the high and this function you can directly uh, call here okay instead of this function name you can directly call this function itself so one interesting part you can um, one interesting part is that we don't need to put the parenthesis uh, so you just need to pass the function name and then if we refresh our page and then um, click the click here it will be uh, work as a uh, whatever I am expecting so let's say I mean you can see the message is coming so this is how the timeout works now next um, next I think we'll talk about the location what is the location so location is another service that help us to um, identify either which location I am or which location I should go to that okay so let's say that in this case uh, I can get that uh, there are many options or there are many functions available for the location um, so that we can get the absolute location we can get that URL we can go to the particular location or we can uh, get the location details from there okay so let me show you that okay for that what we have to do I have to we uh, click that here let's say that I'll put that location this one okay and here I'm going to use the location um, the first I'm going to use the location dot dot URL this function what will be happen uh, if, if I uh, put that dot URL and you can put the parenthesis you can see that it is showing that a uh, string and replace okay so anyway so I'm, I'm just going to save that let's see that what is return so if you see that right now we are timing out so five second timeout after five second it will give me that uh, the location of the current URL so this, this is my page right now you can see this page name is the test service and if you click here after five seconds it will give me the my current um, URL let's see that so you can see uh, it is giving me that slash dot um, you know SPID equal to test service it is not giving me the complete URL or the my instance name it is giving me after slash it means that it is uh, it is not giving you that actual URL it is um, you know uh, partial URL now what we'll do instead of URL we can put that um, absolute URL so what will be happen um, in this case absolute URL you will be capital so it will be apps URL so you will be capital now if we refresh that and just uh, click here let's see that click here after five seconds it should me give me that uh, absolute URL let's see and you can see right now I'm getting the complete URL so if you want to get the complete URL you can use that uh, absolute URL if you want to need only after slash only portal related URL you can use that only URL so this is completely depending on you what you need okay now next uh, parameter we'll talk about the location dot search so what uh, what uh, is uh, flexibility is giving look using the location dot search you can get that parameter and using that uh, you know i'll show you first that okay so if i put the location dot search okay what will be happen let's first understand so i just put the location dot search save and refresh that page and click here you can see right now it is giving me object object right why uh, because this location dot search is give you that the details all the parameter in a JSON format okay I'll do one thing I'll store this information to one of these uh, parameter called um, JSON something like that and store that and what we'll do I'll just parse this to um, stringify to so that user readable so what I'll do capital JSON dot uh, stringify and then I'll put the small JSON and here I'll just print that 
let's understand that what is happening so using uh, using the location dot search you can get that url um, the actual url parameter okay so let's refresh right now and click here and you can see it is giving me the json format called parameter what is the parameter parameter is the id and then this is the value so this this way if we add more parameter let's say i'll add that um you know um sys underscore id equal to one two three something like that so it it will give you that in a parameter in a parameter it will give you uh, in a json format and you can use in your places wherever you need it basically okay now let's uh, using the location uh, i mean using the location dot search also we can redirect uh, from a particular page also okay so let's see that for that what we have to do we have to uh, do the location and then search and under that we need to be defined that which parameter which page i have to be go so let's say i i'll create a json in the top so let's say that back json and let's say i'm going to redirect them to so a particular page called id equal to i'm going to redirect them to a uh, list page okay or maybe you can redirect them, them to the, any of the form page okay so i'll put that there and i should i'm just trying to redirect them to list page and here i'll put that uh, json what will be happen it will be set the value previously we are getting the value right now it will be set the value let's see that so if i refresh that right now right now we are in the test service page and if we click here after five seconds it will be redirected to the list page let's see and you can see i am redirected to the list page so this way you can even if you want to redirect to some other page you can put that list page okay so this way we can use the location um, and then timeout services so that's it for today uh, if you have any question let me know in my comment sections and then in our next uh, video will cover that um, uib model and then watch function okay